on the side of the bed that has the radiator, so you get dressing gown, radiator in the morning. of chocolate that helps the Christmas tree get decorated. Cheers. It's that time of the year again. We are decorating for Christmas. Today, our tradition day, we absolutely love it, but today's gonna to be slightly different. A slightly nicer, we are going for a lovely meal with my family at the pig at Coombe, but I will take you there. It's kind of a special place for us because it's where Ollie proposed, um, at not actually that pig, but the pig, if you aren't in the UK or you don't know, is a chain of lovely um, hotels and restaurants. So yeah, it's gonna be a really lovely day. I'm gonna start by getting up the tree and opening up all the boxes, which is just my favorite thing. I love seeing everything from past years. Now we wouldn't be in the right household if there wasn't some kind of DIY to do before putting up the tree. <laughs> Our tradition has now become that we have to do a little something. There's always something awkward going on. Our glazing has arrived. Um, it is pretty heavy. We got it inside of the house and we couldn't get it any further than this. So it needs to be unpacked and taken upstairs as carefully as we possibly can because the Christmas tree can't come down with that in the way. No. You feeling nervous? Is it tight? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to do it? Really tight. Be really strapped these then. Now the task of getting and putting up the Christmas tree is made so much better by this beauty. So this is the Balsam Hill 8 foot Nordman fir and it's pre-lit. So all we have to do is put it up just here, plug it in and it is ready to go. I love it being here in the bay window. Um, but yeah, it comes with this little bag. <laughs> little, it's a big bag. <laughs> And you can see here just how realistic the branches are. And there you go, it's got all the lights on it and it comes with a little bag, which should be in here somewhere. Um, this is the base, got some instructions in there. It comes with a little bag with gloves so that you don't hurt your hands when you have to floof it too. So we just got like dance around like we've got music. Jingle bells, jingle bells. We can sing because we're not copyrighted. People have no idea what we're singing. What if we end up Especially singing like you. Mariah Carey or something? Um, are we gonna, are we gonna fluff them one by one? Or just put everything together then fluff them. You know what? You're becoming quite a pro at this. Do you think, yeah, should we fluff it one by one? Yeah. That would be easier. Isn't that what we always do? I can't remember. You're making all my Christmas dreams come true. <laughs> Isn't that what we did last year though? Why would we build it all at once? No, I think we built it and then we floofed it. Floofing. I've been very lucky to be sponsored by Balsam Hill for a few years now and they have gifted a few of their beautiful items but I wanted to let you know that they still have their Cyber Week savings going on which is running till the 6th of December you can save up to 40% and it's also got free delivery on all UK and Ireland orders but I'll pop all the links and the information below in the description too. Guys we may not have a skip outside this year but we do have 
the palette of glass out there. If you actually... What? If you actually say <laughs> my side isn't good enough. This is it bare at the moment. Um, bear in mind that we have it in quite a bright bay window, but such a gorgeous tree. And the moment of truth. Would it turn on this year? Three, two, one. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gosh, that had my heart pounding then. <laughs> Now this year, I don't have too many new decorations. As you guys know, if you've followed us for a while, we love bringing out the decorations year after year, kind of having a memory of them. But this year, I got these. Ah, and I am so excited. I think they're gonna look gorgeous because of uh, our Victorian house in the bay window. So I've got two sets. So these are also from Basin Hill. Ali's intrigued, I haven't seen these yet. <laughs> see? And they just have little clips on them. Um, and yeah, so I've got two boxes. And I'm hoping we can at least, I think I might favor the front of the tree this year, and then maybe get some more next year, um, depending on how they fit. Mr. Oliver just has to, has to experiment and see. I'm really intrigued. I think they look really nice. Oh, that bit tilts as well. Don't I was, I was just, gorgeous. I was just thinking. I had it clipped on that, and I was okay, like, too excited. "How are you going to make it upright?" But they, they swivel. I can't cope. I've got to put the camera down because I need to, I need to put these on the tree. So we got them all out, and how they work is you put a battery. The screws are off. You put a battery inside them, and then you clip them to the tree, and then you have a little remote. You have a remote. You can do color changing. I could just wait. This make this does make me happy because. Every now and then, you know, if you just want a little something different in the evening, you could go for a bit of colour. Or cool white. Yep. Or our favourite, warm white. Warm white. Which is what we've got on the tree. So we're going to stick for that for now, but... And you can also make it dimmer and brighter. Oh yeah, that was clever too. Uh, yeah, I will no doubt be having them multicoloured at times too. And they also come with um, a pack of batteries. Right then. <gasps> Let's get one. <laughs> so beautiful and so elegant and really clever um also on here they kind of pivot so if you can see there so you can position them so that you can get them straight on the tree too so you don't have to worry too much about the clip you can just clip them on and then make sure that they're straight aren't they pretty though oh yeah so we have put some around the back too and some at the front so yeah, I don't think, it's not too much, but it's really pretty. And with that, we need to leave kind of early for lunch. I feel like we've achieved oh. enough already. <laughs> that just makes me really happy. It's quite early, but we got a little bit of a drive for lunch. So we're gonna head out. May have a little bit of time to start getting the decorations out so that when we come back, we can decorate. Ollie has put them on multicolored, <laughs> which is just so fun. It's yeah, nice to have, like it could it. be nice at night. We'll see it tonight what it looks like in the dark. I lied. Now that we've put the Christmas tree up, we want to spend all of our time in this room, obviously. <laughs> and we don't have a TV in here. Dare I say it, we can't live without a TV in the evening. We do have puzzles and games some nights, but we also like to watch TV. So that's something that we bought the other day. We're gonna bring it down and set it up in here for now and enjoy it for the next few weeks at least. And Ollie is dying to set it up and get it out of its box so a little bit of a treat and while he does that i can do my favorite thing which is get out all the decorations and reminisce on all of the lovely memories lake como for our wedding got these in bruges and this was my granny's 
so many sentimental decorations. These boxes are great, by the way, as well. They hold the ornaments really nicely, the delicate ones especially. Oh, I've got no fit at all though. And I just like to get them all out on the sofa and kind of put them big to small. It actually fits really well, but if you don't regularly watch my videos, this is actually going up in our bedroom, upstairs on the mantelpiece, so it'll go like here upstairs, but it fits here okay. So, actually that's pretty perfect for yep. here now, and we've got a little frame to go around it. Are we going to put the frame on? Yeah. Home sweet home, that was such a gorgeous meal. Um, now in that like Sunday sleepy, just had a big roast feeling. So it's so nice to come back to the lit Christmas tree. And we're gonna put a Christmas movie on the TV. We're undecided, what? Well, yeah, we can't decide. Maybe the holiday, it's by far my favorite Christmas movie. And um, just relax and enjoy putting it up. I've pretty much run out of space. <laughs> but I've got them all on this little sofa. I'll run through some of them very, very quickly where we got them from in case you're wanting inspiration. So these were the White Company. We got a lot from the White Company, actually. These were also from the White Company. These are mementos from Holiday. Uh, my mum got these from Darts Farm in Exeter. All of these ones here are George Jensen. So we have different years. Can't find the one that says the years on it. Um, yeah, for example, that one says 2021. Um, I'm pretty sure these ones I got, was it, it must have been last year from John Lewis to represent our wedding and my wedding dress with the little pearls on it. These are very old that I win an L from Anthropology. You'll know from past videos that these ones here are just my absolute favourites. And um, we got those from Harrods past years. These are the White Company, these are from Travels again. These were old from The Range. These ones here are from the ne Neptune. And um, this one here we got off of, uh, what was it? I think it, was it Etsy or was it not on the high street? I'll be able to find it for our engagement, which was, gosh, two Christmases ago now, Ollie. That's insane. Um, the big ones here are also from Neptune. These are from The Range. And then these really large ones are from Neptune. And then this lovely range here, I haven't got them all out. These were from Balsam Hill last year and that came in a set with lots of different ones. And these are kind of lovely because they're quite matte. And then I'm pretty sure these are from, I think my mum also got us some of these. Um, so I'm not quite sure. Um, and then this one, lovely little jewelry box. The White Company are doing these now, but Ollie picked this one up in Harrods. So. Now, it doesn't look that many, but I'm gonna get them on the tree and see how it looks. I get to call you a husband this year. Husband. My husband is doing a husbandy things and not actually sitting on his phone. He's trying to work out the TV. He's determined to get a Christmas movie on for us. I really, I really am excited about the new TV. Mm. But I'm being an old man. Mm. Why do I need an account to set up the TV? <laughs> He's such a man. It wants to know my name, my address, <laughs> my date of birth, my email address. It wants to set up two-factor authentication in case someone tries to steal my TV. Oh god, well I want that. Yeah, you set that up. Oh, I mean, so much better. It took us an age, but TV is on. We that have was, a happy husband. That was a marathon. <laughs> so hard. We're so old with technology now.
we are trying something new with the garland this year. Last year I used command hooks with zip ties, it worked really well, you can look back at that video. Um, but today it is Sunday and I, although I was prepared with batteries and I charged them all for all of the candles and everything, I forgot the command hooks. So we're trying something different this year, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, we're basically going to be using double-sided DIY tape, so super strong. I'm not sure we'll ever get it off, but Ollie thinks it is a good idea, so I can blame him if I can't. <laughs> I haven't been on a first date in a long time. Half tidied away from the mess, half put the batteries in the candles, but we do have the garland on. It may have fallen off twice already, but I have been told not to touch it. <laughs> so hopefully it sticks up there. And then the tree, the tree I'm loving. Um, we didn't actually put as much on this year, but I think the candles really add a lot to it. I just love the simplicity, but we are missing the star, our number one tradition. Are you ready? I am. My back's feeling good. Right, we're experiencing this now. Remember the first year where I thought that I could just <laughs> not be as high up? <laughs> what, <laughs> just like hugging me from the side? Like a piggy pack. <laughs> Do you not think we had any idea how tall the room was? On the Christmas tree. Okay. I trust you all now. Yeah. Okay, hang on, let me get comfy. Okay. Oh, we need the star. It's over there. It's fine. No, 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 no. I can, no. I can no. get it. I can get it. Come the other way. Oh, gosh. Ready? No, I'm not. Squat. Oh, did you like to challenge <laughs> You're such a boy. You just want to, like, make my heart of yourself. Okay, balance. You're a bit unbalanced. Were you any good at that, like? Can you balance? <laughs> Okay. Right. Da, 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 da. The final beautiful. The unit tree and the tree. Yeah, close. That was that yeah. was our best year yet. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty even? Looks lovely. Perfect. You coming down now? Yeah. How do you want to come down? I'm on the sofa. Like throw it. <laughs> Wow, I'm getting more elegant at that each year. <laughs> Beautiful dismount. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. I didn't touch it. God, it's down again. <laughs> oh, so, can we just say that it was never my fault that I touched it? And then why is that? Fine. Yeah, and, and also, really bizarrely, this one is the heavier one because this has the huge battery pack and it's staying on. So, anyway, hopefully, in the morning, it'll be staying. And I will see you then for some more decorating. He's taking the other side down now. No oh idea. It's going to be a long night. Not sure why I did my hair this morning. It's the most gorgeous, kind of like misty, low cloud day. But I've just walked to the florist and it's literally just gone a bit wild. But I do have some eucalyptus, which means I can get on this garland. I actually put um, the command hook. So going back to the good old command hooks on last night. So they should be ready for me to hang today. Isn't it gorgeous out there? It feels so wintry. And this is what I picked out. So this is Poplar's eucalyptus. Usually it comes buried, but unfortunately this one isn't buried. And I also got some wax flowers and thistles. I'm not sure I'm gonna use these in the garden, Gar garden, garland, but I am preparing for my wreath, which I'm doing at the end of the week. That'll be next week's video. And this is the kind of look that I'm going for this year. This was one of my favourites from last year and I was so excited to get it back out again because it is just such a showstopper. 
It looks absolutely beautiful just on its own. It doesn't even need any real foliage. I think these lovely bits just give it lots of texture and dimension. So it looks super real. And when Balsam Hill were really kind to ask me if I wanted anything else gifted this year, I was like, I'm, I'm going to go for those all the way up our stairs. So I actually have, they come in packs of two. I have another two sets and I'm just dreaming of wrapping them all the way around our stairs and having those twinkly lights through the hallway. I just think it's going to be so magical. So I'm looking forward to putting those up. But on this one, to have it a little different this year, I'm going to thread some eucalyptus in. And it's got that added bonus that it smells absolutely divine. So good. A little bit of a sad situation this year, but the reality of living in a renovation. Last year I put these lovely tall glasses behind. Uh, and I managed to get two out in time, but the rest, <laughs> the rest are on our dining room shelves behind all of this, which probably isn't gonna get done before Christmas. So we're gonna have to work with what we've got. I need to get some more candles, but actually it's looking fine despite not having the tall ones. And now, I'm gonna have a go at the console behind the sofa. I think I know what I wanna do with this, simply because I really hate that radiator. I've just put the tapestry up on the radiator for a second, but we need to put that on the wall soon. I want to try and hide the radiator. So this year, I'm gonna put this garland at the back. We're gonna have a lot of greenery in here, but I'm hoping we can't then see the horrible white metal big block behind. Got some more candles. You may notice. Oh, no, I just dropped one. Great. You may notice some of them are too small. I was going to cut them off, and then I thought, no, I will just light the ones when I'm not entertaining that are too high until they're low enough. back in the snug now because I'm just making some last minute decisions about decorations and um, this tree also is from Balsam Hill this is new this year you saw me putting it up in my previous video um it's an alpine tree this is the six and a half foot which goes perfectly down here and you may have seen at the beginning of the video we also have exactly the same one in four and a half foot which we currently have on the top floor right now in our bedroom but when we move downstairs um to our bedroom down there I actually plan to put them both together in the bedroom. So a few years ago, if you've been watching, I really want when it goes up into our bedroom to have like a starry night sky theme. Oh, how gorgeous are these also from Balsam Hill? They almost look like their mother of pearl. You can kind of have them sit either way, to be honest. They look beautiful both ways. I think that's probably the right way around. 
but I just haven't been able to decide whether to put them on this tree or the tree in the living room because I love them so much but I think that they go really beautifully on this tree just to add a little bit and I have decided just a second that I was going to just add a little bit of a pop of colour in here so that it goes with the rest of the room but I will show you it all together when I do the Christmas house tour. And I've been looking, but not found yet, but those alpine trees, I wanna put them in wicker pots rather than skirts. So it looks like they've just been picked out and brought in in a pot and they're kind of like living. I know they wouldn't usually have snow on them if they are, but I think that that'll look really cute. So that is the aim. If I find any, I will link them below, but I think the living room is finished. I cannot wait to cozy up in here tonight. It smells divine. I wish you could smell what it smells like in here. It kind of feels like Christmas forest with a mix of the winter candle from the White Company. It feels very Christmassy. And we are ready for Christmas in here. It's feeling very cozy. We've got a different layout this year, which means we have more seating. I'm thrilled by this so that we can host a little bit more. We certainly need even more seating. And you may have noticed, I've got a slight pop of burgundy, but I think I may be changing it over. I've gone for a more green theme this year, and actually, which you'll see next week, for my wreath, I'm going for this lovely kind of like olive green a bit more this Christmas. So I've left out the burgundy from both the tree and the garland. Oh, I just noticed I don't have the little fairy lights on this one. There we go. I mean, it's a stunner in itself, but it smells gorgeous too now. This one you can tell as well, more green, more fresh, a little bit more wild this year which gives a bit of a theme of what I'm going for for Christmas. Really wanted to be a little bit more wild and easy and natural. I've got our little um, stockings under here. Honestly, these don't fit enough. <laughs> They're mostly just for display. And you may have noted this this year as well, that there is a big black empty hole in the fireplace. And that is because we are hoping to get it swept. It should still be fine because I got it swept under a year ago, but we've never used this fire, so I'm a little apprehensive, but we think we might have a go this Christmas. So fingers crossed we can have a lovely roaring fire in there. If not, I'll put the candles in or some faux logs. The candles above, I feel like they need to be different heights, but I have hidden. <laughs> I hid the two smaller ones at the two edges and I think it looks much better, but hopefully I can burn them down a bit and then Obviously, if I step back, you'll see it in its full glory. The tree. Oh, I just love this one. I think it's so beautiful. I love as well that today is just still so foggy out there. Look at it. You can barely see across the park, but it's making me feel really Christmassy. And the candles on this have made it this year. Absolutely made it. I think they're gorgeous. Our tree isn't perfect. And actually, I've just gone to one bit which isn't. But it makes my heart so happy because Oliver put this one here right next to this one and it makes me laugh. It is definitely too close, but I have to keep it because I think it's cute. Then behind our sofa, we've got the little snowy scene with the houses, which I've had for absolute years. I don't even remember where these are from, but you can get them everywhere now. And I did thread some eucalyptus. This is a really old garland that I had that is just very plain. And then these, which I had last year. And actually just below here, we have games and a puzzle for Christmas. So it's easy to access if we want to play anything. And that is our living room decorated for Christmas 2022. Can't believe how quickly this year has gone. But I'm looking forward to decorating the rest of the house. If you guys are interested in any of the Christmas bits, a lot of it is from Balsam Hill. And as I mentioned earlier, they've got their sale going on at the moment. So definitely check them out. And I will hopefully see you next week for the wreath making. I'm so looking forward to that. I will see you guys then. Bye.